Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be playing with some AI stuff. So, if you've been interested in like the last like year, if if you've gotten out of the house or read any news, um, you've probably seen the big boom in AI um, and how it's going to rule the world or become the next Terminator or you know some other unreasonable thing. Um, but you know, it has piqued a lot of interest in a lot of people and definitely has been on my radar to kind of play around with, have some fun and, you know, see what I can do with it. Um, and so with my home lab, I figured I'd create this video to kind of show you um, an alternative to like ChatGPT that you can host um, locally on your computer um, and play around with and see, you know, hey, here are some trained models that other people have created um, that you can use and maybe make better or just kind of see what you can get out of it. So um, in this specific video, we'll be using Llama GPT um, and it has a very kind of similar interface that we're running with um, that you would see in like uh, chat, uh, open AI, uh, chat GPT. So, um, it's kind of be very familiar. So we'll see how this goes and, um, hopefully my server just doesn't burn down. <laughs> um, so let's get started. All right. So, um, what we'll do here is log into our server, um, and install Docker. Um, the reason why we're going to do this is um, Llama GPT actually has Docker images for their containers for what they built out. So we're going to be use, utilizing that um, to uh, essentially use. So we'll add um, the Docker repository, download docker.com, Linux CentOS, and docker.ce.repo. So we're at the repository and then we can install Docker, install Docker. Oh, uh, install Docker C. There we go. Um, and while we wait for that, uh, we'll update our DNS here real quick so that we can get to the web page when we do load it. Um, so we will update our hosted zone file here in GitLab, which will then go through some CI CD pipelines to deploy out to our DNS server. Um, llama GPT, um, and then essentially um, update our DNS for that. So that's pretty neat. Um, if you're interested, uh, feel free to check out my videos in my home lab series. Uh, it'll pretty much walk you through this whole thing. So um, we'll add that. Add Llama GPT, and that should be set. So we can look it up. Um, llama GPT GitHub. Um, so essentially, this is what we're going to be using um, from Get Umbriel. Um, they have a self hosted offline chat GPT like chatbot powered by Llama 2. Um, so everything's locally. They actually do have a few different things that you can use. You can actually use an, a Mac M1 slash M2. I actually do have a MacBook Air M2 that I'm going to possibly test. Um, but what we're doing this is we'll be using it in Docker, um, and we will essentially um, be doing it on my Dell PowerEdge R630 with 32 CPUs allocated and 128 gigs of RAM on this VM. Um, so this is pretty beefy, but the one thing it, it doesn't have is a GPU in it. Um, so we can't actually use the NVIDIA GPU support, which would actually probably make it a lot better. Um, so. That is okay though, that's okay. Um, but you can see, essentially we'll clone the repo, run the command, and hopefully it should just work. Um, now, there are a few different models. So you can see it in this example, it's using model 7B. Um, we can use any of the models we decide, obviously memory constraints, if you have memory constraints, I do 128K so I can do any of these. Um, but we'll just do the, the default, which is the 7B one here, um, and see how that essentially goes. Um, so we have, Docker installed, so we'll enable Docker and start Docker. Um, we'll need to install Git to download the, the repo, um, and then essentially just run th through this. Oh, I need to go back to the um, anywhere else with Docker. So we'll run this when Git is installed. So good, paste that, clone the repo, go to the directory. And then you can see how it has the run run.sh or run mac.sh. So we're going to run this, um, copy this. And I might actually try it because I do have a 4080 
um, I might have to create a different video to show um, the speeds, but um, I would be interested to see how fast it is um, when running on my 4080 versus just my, you know, CPUs running on my R630. Um, I, I definitely don't, I definitely think it'll be faster because it, it feels like it's like kind of like, you know, when you Bitcoin mine, it's going to be faster um, with a GPU than a CPU. Um, and then you can get like your other miners that are even faster. Um, but in this case, we essentially let it run. It's building and pulling. Um, so give it a few seconds here. And once it's ready, we will uh, start doing some tests. All right. So now it got to a point where it essentially says down here that it has started the server on 3000. So we can pull up browser. We would type HTTP llama uh, gpt.dragon.local on port 3000. And essentially you get what you kind of get in chat GPT and it looks actually kind of, kind of nice. Also appreciate the doc theme guys. It's, it's great. If it was, it was white background, it would hurt my eyes a lot more. So, um, definitely great there. So there is a few things that you can edit here. So it looks like you can edit the temperature, um, high values will make the more output more random while lower values will make it more focused and deterministic. So let's do like neutral, a little bit precise, a little bit creative. Um, and we can, oh, we can select a prompt. Um, well, we can ask it something like, um, how was your day? So let's, let's see how this, um, works. Actually, um, the interesting thing is we can slap it on the other side. Oh, um, so, so you can tell it's, it's very slow. <laughs> um, uh, and we can actually see the models a little bit over here. Um, where there, it, there should be timing. I, I think it should output some timing here. Um, yeah, it should get some timing out. Um, well, we can check it after this finishes. So let's, let's look at this, <laughs> but you can see it, it doesn't respond as fast as chat GPT. Um, but this is kind of what I was expecting, honestly, at the end of the day, because my server isn't a multi billion million dollar data center that, you know, runs everyone's queries to, to look up, you know, all the data. Um, but yeah, so we can, we can see here that, um, there are timings, sample timings and timings per token. Um, so it's not super quick because my hardware isn't like the best, but for something to play around with at home, play around with some AI, maybe build some models yourself, um, dockerize it and get it to load. Um, it's not too bad and it's a kind of a quick way to get started. So, um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. I might actually probably create another video, um, utilizing my 4080 or my Mac and seeing how much better or worse that it performs than my server. So, um, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.